Hey everyone, this is Corey with Stafford ZDC, and let's give a brief uh, look here at the Devo Knives Growler V2. Now, the original V1 was made by Shielden Knives, and that partnership between Devo and Shielden no longer exists. So, we have been blessed with V2 here, coming from Kubi, I believe. Uh, I may have to correct that in the description down below, but I'm fairly certain these are Kubi. Now, from the original, there aren't a ton of changes. There's little things like the swedge here, the jimping. Uh, there was no jimping on the previous version. Uh, you have, in this case, a micarta handle with pivot collars um, matching the spacer here. You have a wire clip, which is different than the original clip. It was more of a, uh, like a spring clip that you'd see on a typical budget knife. And then otherwise, this is still a 14C28N, though this prototype is in D2, so you can ignore that steel marking there. And the blade finish is this, like, blasted stone wash kind of look, opposed to the satin stone wash and the black wash that was available before. Though I'm sure when these finally release or pre-order, whatever the case is that Kevin and Colin decide to do, uh, I'm sure there will be different options for the blade finish here. Now, this one has had skiff bearings put in it, I do believe. I think Kevin swapped all of them over to skiffs. Uh, needless to say, the action on skiffs is absolutely ridiculous. There's no play whatsoever. The detent is money on this. And uh, there's a white G10 version with a black-coated blade and hardware that supposedly has an even stronger detent than this one, and that would be wonderful to handle. Uh, it's kind of the one I wish I grabbed when I uh, picked this one up to check out when I was helping Kevin out with shipping out the Buzz pre-orders. So yeah, if you ordered a Buzz from Devo, I may have packed your order, so that's pretty cool. Uh, if you care. I li I'd like to think you'd care, but probably not. Probably don't care who packed your order, as long as it got to you, right? But um, anyway, this is the same great design it was before, just being made by a better OEM with the same materials, though some new offerings. It won't just be a micarta. They prototyped a carbon fiber version, a G10 version, and the micarta version here. So I'm not sure exactly what they're going to be going with, but you can count on these having great detent, great action, and being super slicey and super ergonomic, just like the first one was. And the build quality is just that much better, and this jimping is a major quality of life improvement. Let you really choke up on this, uh, get behind that edge, and really give some power behind those cuts. And yeah, this is an incredible working knife here that everybody would be happy to own and i believe the price point is staying very similar to what it was though it might be higher due to the new manufacturing partner uh costing a bit more i do believe that um who the hell did i say is making this jesus um i do believe that kubi is more expensive than shielden so expect to see probably a price increase though you are getting a much better build quality so you know take that as you will uh, especially if you go for the carbon fiber version i'm sure that's going to be more expensive than g10 or micarta just by nature of the material but nevertheless great design that is getting further improved here and that's just awesome to see so this is a real quick look here at the devo knives growler v2 these will be coming at some point late summer uh, maybe early fall i believe that's the plan don't quote me on that but that's kind of the timeline now for a lot of Devo products, so keep an eye out, keep a look on their Instagram, and I'm sure you will hear a lot about this in the near future. So thank you guys so much for watching, and big thank you to Kevin and Devo Knives in general for letting me check out this prototype here. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this little sneak peek at it, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care.